Hey you guys, welcome back. Um, I'm so excited because today we are making banana bread. And I'm so excited because I waited literally like two weeks to be able to do this recipe. Um, and mostly because I needed to wait for the bananas to get ripe. So I have my ripe bananas and now I can show you this really quick, easy, super healthy, nutritious way to make banana bread and enjoy it without feeling guilty. So if you're ready, let's get to work. So basically this recipe has eight ingredients and all of them are pretty healthy and nutritious. So obviously we'll start with the ripe bananas. I usually use three for a full banana bread, so you can use two. It depends on how banana-ish you want your banana bread. Um, surprisingly enough, I don't even really like bananas that much, but I do enjoy them in a banana bread once in a while. So anyways, um, I forget how many eggs I put in here, but two, four, six. Yeah, there should be six. So you need six egg whites for this recipe. You can certainly do like three full eggs, but I do egg whites because I don't like all those extra calories from the yolk. So I have six eggs here that I am going to crack open and just pull the egg white from. And then I have a third cup of olive oil. Um, I use extra virgin olive oil. I actually get this shipped from Italy, but um, you can use whatever you have on hand. Uh, then my favorite ingredient of all time when I'm talking about sweetening dishes or um, desserts are dates. And these are medjool dates. You have five medjool dates here. You do need to pit these, at least the ones I have. Um, I see them sold pitted, but just in case you're not familiar with medjool dates or dates in general, you want to make sure that you remove the pit before you put them in your recipe. Okay, then we have one tablespoon of baking powder. This is gonna help make it rise and because we're not really using any flour, it just binds with the egg and it provides a little bit of a texture, more like a bread. Um, then we have one cup of almonds. Um, you can use pecans or a different type of nut if you prefer. I've only tried with almonds and pecans and sometimes I mix in walnuts, but um, this is really basically what ends up being kind of like your flour. With the cinnamon, you either like it or you don't. I do like a little bit of cinnamon in my banana bread. So I have about a teaspoon of cinnamon here that we're going to mix in with the rest of it. And then the last ingredient is this whew, beautiful, luscious, delicious vanilla bean. And these are from Madagascar, but if you look closely, you can see the actual vanil vanilla bean inside, maybe. Um, but so I cut it open so that the vanilla bean is exposed, but I do just pop this whole thing in the um, blender. So these are all of the ingredients you need to make a simple, nutritious, delicious banana bread. And literally all we're going to do is put all of these ingredients into my favorite thing, the Nutribullet, blend it up, and then pour it in the pan and bake it. So it's that simple. I hope you're still with me. So now we'll do the work. Bananas are your friend. <laughs> Bananas are your friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so here we go. This is going to be your banana bread. Can you believe it? And all you have to do is blend this up in, the nu in a Nutribullet or in whatever thing you use. Just blend it up, pour it in the pan, and we're ready to roll. Okay, so we're back. And this is the lovely banana bread mixture or batter. Uh, let's see if you can see that. Um, it's thick, just like it should be. And now we're just gonna simply pour it into a grease pan. Okay, you guys, so this is about ready to go in the oven. Just kind of give it a little bit of a whirl to even out the batter in the pan. It already smells so amazing. Like, this is going to be delicious. So here we go. Here's our banana bread. I forgot to mention, if you want, after you're done blending up the batter, you can add um, your preference of nuts, like walnuts, pecans, pretty much anything, any kind of nut goes well with a banana bread. I actually forgot. Otherwise, my preference would have been to put some pecans in. Um, and I would put some on top, but I just want to keep it simple for now. So we'll bake the banana bread. I have my toaster oven, my best friend right here. 
We're gonna bake this banana bread for about an hour on 375. Okay, you guys, I'm so excited because the banana bread is done and it is done in exactly one hour. So I am just going to pop it out of my toaster oven. Woo, baby. Woo, check this out. Fresh out the oven for real. This is going to be the best banana bread you have ever had in your life. You just have to let this cool for an hour and you really should let it cool. I know I find myself digging in before an hour sometimes, but I'll be back to slice a piece of this masterpiece. <laughs> I'm gonna slice a piece of this masterpiece after it has a chance to cool off. And you guys, oh, the smell. Oh, just cook this, I mean, forget about candles. Just bake some banana bread and have it sitting out for a while and you know, that can be your candle for the day. Okay, you guys, so now it's time to cut, whoops, cut our beautiful banana bread. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord. Oh. Check this out, people. Have you ever seen a banana bread? Have you ever seen a banana bread this beautiful before? Oh my god. Mm. 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 It's perfect. Mm. That's all, folks. Mm-hmm.